everybody, this is me and today I'm actually vlogging after college because today I'm going to sort of show you how I manage the horses with it being dark at the moment because I don't know if you can see out my window but it's basically pitch black. <laughs> So now I'm going to get out my college clothes and put on my riding clothes. It's actually so nice now I've finished secondary school that I don't have to wear school uniform so I can wear basically what I want as long as it's sort of smartish at my college. So I'm just going to wear these beige breeches and then I'm just going to grab my Pony Club green polo top and then I'm just going to grab my grey base layer to wear underneath as it's so cold at the moment. So this top is actually from Equestry and they sent it to me which is really really nice and they've personalised it as well which has my name on so yeah I'm just going to pop that on now. So now I'm changed and everything I'm going to go grab my dinner. I'm towards a common understanding of what's needed. So I've just finished my dinner and here I actually have my hairnet and just a hairband just so then I can do my hair in the car which will save time. The winter is one of the hardest times to keep horses, not only with the bad weather but also with the shorter days and longer nights, especially if you have other commitments like work, college or school. So today I'm going to show you how I keep Casper exercised over the winter during the night and how I manage to get everything done while it's still dark. All of our stables are actually off-grid and are all powered by solar electricity, which is connected up to a battery. Not only is this better for the environment, but it's also safer for your horses as there is a lower risk of having a fire. For the majority of the time, the horses are actually kept in their field, however my dad very kindly put Casper in just before I got home from college so then his legs would be all nice and dry for me to brush off which saves me a lot of time as then I don't have to bathe him. Today was actually a Friday night which I think is one of the best nights to ride after school and this is because you can do your homework at the weekend and there's nothing that has to be due in the next day. First I like to get myself organised and put everything in the van. I start off with getting my saddle pads and putting them together with my saddle so then I have less things to do when I'm away as it's so much easier to do everything at home. Being part of the Pony Club, I have so many more opportunities to be able to ride during the winter as it means we're able to ride a lot more in our local indoor equestrian centre. So once I put Casper's saddle together, I'll then take it down to the van and put it inside. Now our horse box actually used to be a tradesman's van but it's been converted for equestrian use. So it means it has lights inside which, oh my gosh, is so helpful compared to when we used to have the trailer. Then I'll grab my silver tack box which I actually spray painted myself and I'll put in my tendon boots and back boots. As well as my gloves, Casper's girth and his ear bonnet as he sometimes doesn't like the echoey noise in indoor schools and my stirrups too. And after, I'll then put my bridle in my bridle bag just to protect him on the journey. And I'll put them in the van as well. And the donkeys actually came up from the field to see everything that was going on. And lastly, I'll grab my helmet, my body protector and my boots. And again, walk all the way down to put them away. I put my helmet and my body protector usually in the back, however with my boots I like to put them in the front of the van, which means I can save time by putting them on in the van when we're travelling rather than when we're actually there. Then I'll grab Casper's head collar and lead rope, and yes, that's what we call it in the UK, not a halter, and I'll put it on him and lead him out. Once I've tied him up, I'll take off his many rugs as he is clipped and start grooming him. So I'm basically just doing everything as I usually would, but in the dark. And next I'll put his cooler on to keep him warm while we're travelling. Then 
put his travel boots on to protect his legs and always make sure that you're pulling the velcro towards the horse's tail rather than its head. I also like to use a velcro tail bandage to protect his tail from rubbing. And then I'll start to lead Casper down to the van and load him up. riding boots on and put my hair in a hairnet and when we're there I'll start to open up all the doors because the van has light and it's a bit more spacious I am actually able to tack Casper up while we're inside I first swap Casper's travel boots for tendon boots and then I go onto his saddle but first I have to take off Casper's rug, which I try and leave till last minute as I don't want him to get cold. And then I put his saddle on as soon as possible. Then I'll get myself ready by putting on my helmet and body protector, and then I'll put on Casper's ear bonnet and his bridle, and then we're ready to go. And then I'll lead him out of the van and we'll have our show jumping clinic. And today we were focusing on a very technical course with very tight turns. Down the years it's been a ride And now I'm sorry I want more, let's not end tonight And on and on as we go we seem to fight But baby that's just the way we love And only in the dark do we see our sunlight Home is where we were, home is where we want to be And yes, we don't have time to say goodbye And this ain't the last time Now this time before we go Raise your hands, raise your toes Time is something special just like love before it starts to snow It's crazy how the years have gone Memories are the drug we're on But darling, just remember That there's never a goodbye We spoken There's never a goodbye It's only time before we miss the fire 